Hi guys, I'm Chef Shriya from Sushi and More Mumbai, India. My forte is Japanese food and today I'm going to show you how to make tofu naan ban. Naan ban is a starter dish which comprises of crispy fried mains like tofu, chicken or fish and it is served with a sweet tangy tartar sauce. So in order to know more, let's get on to the ingredients first. Firstly, I'm using half a block of tofu which is about 100 to 150 grams. This is silken tofu which has been drained to make it slightly firm. You can also use a semi-firm variety of tofu if you're not confident with silken tofu. Next, I'm going to use tempura flour. This is about 2 to 3 tablespoons of tempura flour. Next, I'm using Japanese style sweet and sour sauce. In order to know how to make the Japanese style sweet and sour sauce, you need to click onto the link alongside. In order for the Japanese style starter sauce which goes on top, I'm using about 2 to 3 tablespoons of Japanese mayo. You can use a veg mayo as well. This is about 1 tablespoon of chopped white onion. In order to garnish the whole dish, I'm going to use very fine juliennes of spring onions and coloured bell peppers and there's salt and pepper for seasoning. So let's start with the process. I'm going to first take the tofu and cut it up. This half a block which I'm going to cut into about 8 pieces. Repeat the process for the entire tofu block. Okay. I'm just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on it. Next thing is I'm going to take out some tempura flour onto a plate. I'm going to dust the tofu in the tempura flour and put it in oil for frying. So take the tofu one by one. The tempura flour is available in both the veg and the non-veg variety. So vegetarians, please read the contents before you pick up tempura flour. It mostly contains egg powder. Coat them carefully. It might get a little difficult to handle silken tofu. So what I do is either I pop it inside the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds or I put it in between two chopping boards, keep it on at an angle with some weight on top so that whatever excess moisture is there, it flows out. I think my oil is hot enough. I'm going to gently lower the tofu in the oil. Don't coat and keep for a really long time. Otherwise, the coating goes soggy. So the tofu has started getting a slight color now. And it's crisp to touch. You can also use chicken. Chicken nanban is a very famous dish in Japan. Both kids and adults love it alike. So just drain it out on a kitchen towel. And I'll take a tray for plating up directly. I'm going to soak this, these pieces of tofu on a in the Japanese sweet and sour sauce. This needs to be consumed hot while it's still about crispy. So we now move on to making the tartar sauce. This is Japanese mayo. I'm going to add a drop of the sweet and sour sauce on this itself. chopped white onion. You can also add boiled egg, chopped boiled egg. 
pinch of the pepper powder. To mix it all up. With the egg, it has more creaminess and it has a different texture as well. But because I'm using tofu, I'm not adding the egg. Put a dollop on top. And I'm going to garnish. With the spring onions and the colored bell peppers. Dry it on a kitchen towel first. And then place it carefully on the tartar sauce. So guys, this was Tofu Naan Ban for you. If you like this recipe, do subscribe to India Food Network for any queries, comments or if you have any suggestions or if you want me to make any recipe in particular, do write in. I'll be most happy to assist. Tomorrow, arigatou gozaimasu.